you guys tools will be using. Picked up three drill bits, 516s, 1364, 38s. And I got this one that's just a bit smaller. Though. And we have here the, the T40. What do you call these bits? These are like the hex torque bit. It's a new cable. This is what they bring you. And I noticed I needed a washer, so I had the washer in the garage. I ended up using washers for this job. We've got one washer here. It's the same washer. Without it, it um, doesn't make sense how this is going to go on. It's pretty pretty crazy. Alright you guys, let's get started. We're we'll using a drill. We're not going to have to need a grinder or anything or weld. Pretty much. Helper today. Huh? Helper? I'm leaving soon. Well, this has to be drilled out. Oh, the rivet? Yeah. But I had to use a washer. Because the kit that it comes with it wouldn't even help. Because you put this in, and then they give you like these little little snaps that go in here to hold them. Like I think it's a, it's called a retainer ring. And then that will just go through the hole and it'll come right out. So I had to put a washer. You can see it right there. Yeah, without the washer, it, it's it won't it won't work with just this kit that they give you. Look, I'll show you right here. The one's a little bigger than the other. Let's see. This is supposed to hold it, and it go, it falls right through. And this one also. Oh damn! What the hell? So it, it wouldn't hold it in, in place. This one, this one falls right through also. So then, so yeah, so that's so why I have the washer and then that. That's bigger. Oh, David. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I bring it out of way so that way I can clear the hole out better. Yeah. Alright, see how it goes with this. Alright, I'm able to get it. Point this away a little bit. I'll try this. 
this is a little Alright, you guys. The crazy thing is, if you if you go by this kit and you put on this this little little C clamp, I forgot what they call it. You know, if you put that on, it's gonna slide right out to this hole here. It's crazy. So. to leave off the leave this out because it's closing the gap too much. The trick would be to have a, a skinnier washer. Not this puppy in there. All right, let's see. There you go. That's about it. Here you go. I lost my T40 bit. So. Alright you guys, 
So there you go, YouTube and my subscribers. Hope that helps out one of you guys. No need to weld or, or grind and just drill it. And then you are going to have to find a little washer. Or get a skinny one. That way you can use this little... That way you can reuse the little... The little shin to get... I got rid get rid of that squeaking sound. Then you new shocks or something. Sweet. You guys, brought to you by Phoenix, the Phoenix E05. Kumo oh. Solos. Pretty nice tires, you guys. All right. What we got going on here today, you guys? This one's still holding up. I had reinforced it with some some string. Okay, you guys, this is an eBay combo here with two straps from eBay. Looking to see how to put it together, it seems to me like it's missing a couple washers. So I found these two washers in the garage. And with these, I think I'm going to be able to install this. And I went and picked up three drill bits. So I think all I'm going to do is drill, and then I'll show you as we go along. Alright guys, these washers were not part of the kit. I just happened to find these in the garage, and I think they're going to work. And I wish I knew the size, so I can tell you, but... Well, you can get an idea here of the opening. There you go. Alright, YouTube, my subscribers, wish me luck. Try to put this in the back. See how it drills through. Change a bit. The next size up.
right? I think that's some progress. See what's going on here, and then I'll get back to you guys. Yes, okay, so this drill bit is just barely fits in the old hole. It should be the same as the new one. smaller one. I'll throw it here. I end up using this one. Alright, let's see what this is my new plan. I'm gonna loosen this up here. That way I can bring this a little further away. That way I can drill this hole out without damaging the, the inside of the tailgate. Pride it apart a little bit. But now it's a It's on there. gave us to hold it in the back so it doesn't make sense how that's going to hold there so, so that's why I'm going to have the washer and I'm going to put on this smaller one that goes on real tight so it's, it's going to look something like this you guys it's going to look something like that and I'm not going to have I believe I'm not going to have to take this apart in some videos I saw yeah, you have to detach this. There's like a bar that goes all the way up in here. 
I'm not going to have to do that or, or any grinding, which is a good thing. You guys, same thing again. Tricks of the trade. looking a lot easier now. Alright, there we go. Snapped. Snuffed in. Time to try it out again. Put this I didn't lose too much time on there. Let's take a look. This is the old mod I did. This is, this is like some 60 pound spider wire. I put on a whole bunch of strands and just kind of weaved them together and that was my cable for a while. For many years actually. 